On this video, we're going to take a look at the Maxwell Laser Synth and Abstract Generator. Now this uh, plays very well with the laser dock. Let me go ahead and get the uh, laser dock engaged here. So you just select laser dock, turn it on, and you can see we already have the, the dot up there. And uh, you can adjust the color. We'll go ahead and adjust the amplitude on the X and draw a bit of a line there. Like I said, it's very dynamic. You click here, you see the, uh, the output up there on the wall immediately. And uh, just by uh, just doing a few adjustments, you can begin to get some pretty sweet uh, patterns and effects. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the color width. And basically, it, the color width, you know, it takes the region from what I can understand from your uh, selector here and expands outward with other company colors until you get the whole color spectrum in the wheel. So if you want mostly blue with a little bit of green, you can park here and adjust the uh, hue width down. Now that's my understanding. It's got great documentation. It's got a uh, tutorial intro as well as uh, online documentation. And I've just barely scratched the surface on the software. So I'm going to go ahead and add some interframe modulation. And you can see we can begin to uh, get some fairly complex patterns with just a few quick uh, settings and adjustments. So really fun software. Uh, it's great to play with. Uh, like it says here, twiddle some knobs. You can just get in here and start playing. But at this point, I wanna load up some presets I got from uh, Wicked Lasers. Now these presets show some of the more complicated things that you can do in this software. And they're also just a lot of fun to play with. So you can come in here and just play with all of these settings, adjust the oscillator from a uh, square, you know, to uh, sine wave, all kinds of stuff here to play with. And of course, uh, let's go ahead and, and load up one of these other ones that's a little more of a set pattern so you can see the differences that we can make by adjusting some of this stuff. So you can see I've just totally sped things up, tweaked uh, color. Again, this is just basically a kaleidoscope that you can play with. And really, really fun stuff here, folks.